jeden Fall. 100 Prozent. Wer sind selber schuld, wenn da irgendwas passiert? Oder? Das heißt, die sind, sind, sel das sind selber, selber schuld. schuld. Sind selber schuld. Ähm, sind leicht bekleidete Frauen selbst schuld, wenn sie vergewaltigt werden? Ja. Gekleidet ist und selbst nackt draußen rumrennen würde. Könnte das vielleicht der Grund sein, warum sich die Vergewaltigungen in Deutschland anhäufen? Weil sich die Täter vielleicht gar keiner Schuld bewusst sind, weil die Frauen ja die. Why do black Americans always vote for Democrats? After the Great Depression in the 1930s, the New Deal was introduced in order for people to find work. This persuaded around 71% of African Americans to vote for Franklin D. Roosevelt. This was the first time that the black community had largely voted for a Democratic president. African Americans weren't even allowed to attend Democratic conventions until 1924 and didn't vote for a Democratic president again until Lyndon B. Johnson passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, in which he said the result of that would be, I'll have those N-words voting Democratic for the next 200 years. Ever since then, the black community has been voting Democratic. But my question is, what have they really done for us? Today, around 90% of black Americans vote Democratic. And they literally have done nothing for us except pander to us to get our vote. From the welfare state emphasized by Lyndon B. Johnson to mass incarceration implemented by Bill Clinton, Democrats have done nothing but destroy and ruin black families in black America. So, can you name one specific thing that the Democrats have done in the past 15 years for our community? <laughs> from day one that there was a brazen plot to exonerate Hillary Clinton illegally and then if she lost the election to frame Donald Trump. That for more than four years before the election of Donald Trump, there was an illegal spying operation going on by FBI contractors, four of them, to steal personal information, electronic information about Americans and to use it against the Republican Party. <laughs> authorized DOJ investigative activities. Okay. In the entirety of your previous career in the Department of Justice, including as Attorney General, have you ever referred to authorized department investigative activities officially or publicly as spying? I'm not asking for private conversation. I'm not going to comments. abjure the use of the word spying. And up until all the, the four outrage a couple of weeks ago, it's commonly used in the press to refer to authorized activities, such as referring to the But it's not FISA commonly court, used by the court. department. What? It is not commonly used by the department. My time is... Commonly used by me. If, in fact, a proceeding was not well-founded, if it was a groundless proceeding, if it was based on false allegations, Uh, the president does not have to sit there constitutionally and allow it to run its course. The president could terminate that proceeding and it would not be a corrupt intent because he was being falsely accused. That's important because most of the obstruction uh, claims that are being made here or, or episodes do involve the exercise of the president's constitutional authority and we now know that he was being falsely accused. But you still have a situation where a president essentially tries to change the lawyer's account in order to prevent further criticism of himself. Well, that's not a crime. Did anyone, either you or anyone on your staff, memorialize your conversation with Robert Mueller? Yes. Who did that? Uh, there were notes taken of, of the call. May we have those notes? No. Why not? Why should you have I came in like a wrecking ball.
as they say in Yiddish, a mensch par excellence. <laughs> Mr. President, when you called me, I was at home weeping. You were the first person who began my healing. You heal people in their worst of times, and I'm so grateful for that. So beautiful. 